What is up guys, the package just came in. I thought it was gonna come in July 17th, but it said before July 17th. So here's the package. E tray e trailer, I don't know what that means, but um it was used, but uh we're gonna see how good of condition it is in when we unbox it. So let's jump right into it. Okay guys, so let's do it. You tape this thing up good, dude. He stapled it, taped it, and everything. I really hope nothing's broken in here or anything. Alright, right, guys. Staple stabbed into my finger. There we go. Let's check her out. Okay guys, um, it's it's okay. It's not um, the best grill, but I mean it's 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 better than mine. It is scarred up. We're gonna have to repaint it and stuff. See, it's kind of scarred up here. Um, there's a piece of metal hanging off there. What's up, guy? It's currently the next morning, and uh, look what time it is. 5:55. Okay, so it's 5:55 in the morning, and um, I didn't vlog the rest of the night because we had somebody come look at the Jeep. And um, they were just like, oh yeah, we'll put on your fenders, we'll put on your grill, we're going to put on your hood and everything. I was like, okay, bet. <laughs> so he just took like the grill, the fenders, and everything. He's going to come pick up the Jeep sometime soon and uh, put on, put everything on for us and uh, make sure everything's in the hood, engine is okay and make sure everything's straight, straighten out the body and how the body was bent out and everything and he's fixing everything. What's up guys, just arrived at my grandparents, rode my bicycle at least maybe three miles here. Uh, yeah, my, my it doesn't sound that bad, but like once you're riding on a bicycle, it sucks, bro. And it's a BMX bike, it's not like a street bike. Um, and the tires are almost flat, but uh, we're going to go sand the new grill I just bought and uh, repaint it and let's see how it goes. So uh, stay tuned. Alrighty guys, so I'm about to take the grill out of the box and uh, get to sanding. So she's in this box right here. And uh, we're going to lay her down on some cardboard in the grass and uh, sand her down. See, there's some spots of rust anyways. So there was no way I was going to go without painting it because the rust would have eventually taken it over. But uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and take it out of the box, lay it out over here, put it on some cardboard, and go ahead and spray paint. So uh, I'll probably do like a little time lapse of that. But um, we kind of pulled the uh, thing straighter a little more from the other day. See, the tractor, the Kubota, has some power behind that baby. And um, the light bar is fine, everything's fine. There's a little bit of bowing right there. I don't know if you can tell or not. The side's still bowed out, as you can tell. This is coming undone. This was flush with that. But, um, yeah, so uh, with the new fenders, the tires are going to stick out like that. And I like it a lot when it does that. Uh, back fenders, I'm just going to keep those on for right now until I get the money to get the matching fenders with these as well. Or I might even just take the back fenders off and like put some of that black stuff to cover up the holes where those fenders were but uh yeah so um i'm gonna go ahead and take my uh the grill out of the box and um yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and get busy on that and i'm gonna do a time lapse so uh yeah let's get it all right got the cardboard laid out all right guys let's go ahead and take the grill out of the packaging i'll get back to you guys when i have it out of the box okay guys so i have everything ready i have a water bucket with a rag trying to get these bolts loose they were like totally corroded I don't know if you can tell, but whoever had this grill before me took very, very bad care of it. Uh, it's rusted, um, but I mean, that's what you get for buying a used grill, you know. Um, this is kind of loose on it, whatever this rubberized stuff is. This side is really loose. I'm trying to get this off. I got this bolt off, but those were like rusted, so I don't know if I'll be able to get it off or not. I don't really think it matters, but I'm going to have to tape these up. And uh, yeah, I'll get back to you guys when these are taped up and if I can get this off. Alright guys, I got everything taped up on the ends, and I couldn't get that over, see that silver piece over there? I couldn't get that one out, so I'm not even going to worry about it. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and start sanding it, and then uh, layer a coat of paint, and um, yeah, I'll show you guys what it looks like after that. So, um, But I'm going to put a time lapse of me sanding it, and of me spraying it, so uh, yeah, let's do it. <laughs>
Okay guys, so it's finally night time. I decided to come back and check a look at the grill. And um, I'm here with my best friend, Bogey, right here. What's up guys? Um, I'm out in the shop and um, I'm about to show you this grill. And after one coat of paint, bro, it looks really, really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you. Here it is. I'm gonna slide it more out into the light. There she is. Look at that thing, bro.